So you've bought one of our units and you wanna know how to plug it all in or you're thinking about buying one and you just don't know how it all works. I've made this video for you so just to give you a bit of a rundown what's in the pack and what you need to do to plug it all in. Pretty much how easy it all really is. So you'll get your head unit with the plastic fascia and a whole bunch of cables to actually have your unit running. What you'll get is your GPS connector, and that's this one here. Your microphone, and that's optional to install if you'd like, as there's already one built in up here. USB cable, now that's for any uh, models that have CarPlay, you can plug it in through there, or just for the standard models, that's just simply to charge your phone. Your reverse camera line, now this plugs into the back of the unit, and that will allow the video cable from the camera to plug on in. Your RCA cable, now this is for a whole bunch of things that you can plug into from amps to subs, um, but ideally you use it for your microphone connection um, is the primary source unless you are quite adventurous and you'd like to use all these other video and audio inputs and outputs. And last but not least, your harness. Now yours won't be quite as messy as this one, but with this here, you have the input for the back of the unit and then the input for the original loom. Now this is for a Mazda 3 and Mazda harnesses are all relatively the same besides the ones that come with reverse camera. All right, first things first is our main harness. So with the main harness, you'll need to plug in your canvas box for steering wheel buttons to work correctly. That'll plug in right here, like so. After you've done that, you'll also need to plug in this canvas line to the back here to communicate with the unit. Once you have those plugged in, you plug in the main power input where it says power. And once that's all done, you'll notice you have something left over. So with this leftover plug, this is for the stock antenna. It'll be different depending on your, your vehicle model, but this will plug into the antenna slot and for example, this one here is for a BMW or a Volkswagen, and that'll plug into the original antenna slot, and then right in the back here, Mazda have theirs built into the harness, which makes it a bit easier. Um, the, next, the next input we'll do is the RCA cable. Now that one is right here, and your RCA cables for any video outputs or anything like that. Um, ideally, we just use it for the microphone at the moment, um, but that is completely optional as well. And now this is our mic. The mic output is labelled as well as mic, so you just plug that in and find somewhere to run that and attach in your vehicle for a clearer sound. From there, we now have the USB cable. Now this USB, USB cable is a six pin in, and that'll just click right here. And now for the reverse camera line. Now this is for any aftermarket or stock reverse camera. The video cable you will usually come off the harness and plug in for this. If you have an aftermarket reverse camera, the video in will plug in here. Um, and then you'll need to tap it to where it says back. And that is just your trigger wire to allow the camera to understand and the unit to understand when you are reversing to switch it over into reverse. And um, if you don't have this one plugged in, it won't work. And you also need to power the camera from the back. But we also have the GPS over here as well. And that'll just plug in the bottom of this thread and you just screw it until it's tight.
Now that right there is virtually all you need to do to have a functioning system with Google Maps, Bluetooth, and all your audio, stereo, everything you pretty much need. So all relatively easy. If you like that one, please like down below. And if you have any extra questions for us, you're welcome to get in contact with us on the website, our email, or just drop them down below. Cheers.